Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Explicit Materia, the podcast where a nerdy drummer talks to his friends. And today we're joined newly by Jesse over here to my right or left or whatever it is. <laughs> Welcome, Jesse. How are you? I'm doing good. This is fun. Pretty stoked to do this. Right on. Uh, it was told to me by Dane that you are an avid fighting game player. Yes. You actually went into. You actually went. No, into... I just said he fights people. <laughs> <laughs> just in general, he's actually really good in MMA. Yeah, you can call that a game. <laughs> I just, I just do it at the video game contest because I know I can win. Yeah. No, at the video game store, you just yes. you're waiting in line to buy the next Call of Duty, and you're just punching yeah. in the head. That's right. Dane told me you actually competed. Yes, for since 2007. Oh wow! Was... You do so? You do still compete? I do. Our arcade is actually opening back up. The first monthly is the 29th. So I'm actually going to be practicing some tonight. To All maybe, right. What yeah. uh, what game? What uh, game is your ga fighting game of choice? I'm not a. F I don't play fighting games, but uh, please say uh, Battle Arena Toshinden. Oh yeah, absolutely. On PS One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Mainly Street Fighter. My favorite is Marvel vs. Capcom Three, but no one really plays that anymore. The game kind of died a little bit. Yeah. That's but sad. Not, yeah, because Marvel Infinite came out, and then that game was a terrible flop, and then, <laughs> then three didn't really come back. But yeah, mainly Street Fighter Five and Mortal Kombat and Eleven. Right on, dude. <clears throat> yeah, that's. <laughs> I was never uh -huh. good enough. I could never be good enough to to uh, at any fighting game to ever mm -hmm. compete. So it's that's pretty incredible. It's a lot of fun. Like how nerve is it? Like nerve wracking to be on like. A sort of stage and like I mean, you're a musician as well so it's like is there any parallels between the two you think um a little you, bit you, you probably don't make money doing either uh <laughs> no <laughs> make more more video game or more money playing video games right <laughs> so. I, feel like, I feel like for every guitarist that goes to a show and is like yeah i could do that better there's got to be you know the same amount of people doing the same oh thing, yeah know? for sure yeah. like the last big tournament I went to was like, it was called CEO in Orlando. I think there was like 600 people in the Marvel first Capcom three bracket. And you know, there's streamed and 20,000 people are watching. There's a big stage. that looks like a, box, a wrestling rink that you get up on <laughs> sometimes. Oh, dude. But it's yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's where I got to fight this. There's this big pro big name pro guy named Justin Wong that people know a lot about in the fighting game world. And so I actually got to fight him on stage. That was nerve wracking. That was the only time I was like nervous because he wow. wins everything. I would think I'd be stage in Octagon, right? <laughs> he that was should. That, yeah. They, that's probably happened already once before, but yeah, I think I, I'd, I'd be sort more. Of, I sort of want various sports to, to just keep, keep extrapolating that like the dodecahedron yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one night only yeah just just a triangle like just, <laughs> just a line yeah just, just a line you're, 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 you're fighting, fighting like, on the tightrope oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like bring back that, american gladiator for that you're right yeah. there's oh, something to this yeah, uh, if I would feel ever fight McGregor again. Uh, min take, minimalism is not dead. No. Take my no. money. Take all my money. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of huge, speaking of huge events, let's get into uh, the meat of our uh, podcast today. So today's podcast, we're going to talk about E3 for a little bit, and then we're going to go into trivia, a little video game trivia with the boys, and then we're going to go into some more deeper, more personal questions for the gentleman here. Um. And that's going to be the podcast for today. All right, so let's talk about E3. Uh, did anybody watch E3? Was there anything in E3 that you guys were interested in? Okay, I'm so glad no. that it was not just me. <laughs> no, no. Uh, there, there I, mean, I watched a few like highlights of it, but not really watched all of it. I am. There is one game that I'm really excited for, and it's the uh, Avatar game they're coming out with. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah. I, I did some reading on this. Uh, keep, keep going down that. Yeah, so like uh, apparently it's supposed to be like this open world, like multiplayer game, which is very interesting, especially since there was talks of the second Avatar movie being made. And like we haven't seen anything from that yet. And I've talked to a few friends of mine and we just like made speculations about it, like like the possibility of seeing Avatar 2 DLC come to the game and things like that and the different explorations, interactions with the world, you know. It's something very interesting. 
Sure. Well, I find it fascinating because like when I first heard that, I was like, wait a minute, was Avatar a movie like 10 years ago? Like, was that a big yes. deal like a decade ago? And now it's like a big deal again. It's just weird. It's like, I, I watched that and I was like, you guys are about 12 years too late. <laughs> yeah, it, right. it, it is it is a very odd time for them to be coming out with like an avatar game like it feels like this should have happened already forever ago mm-hmm. like their ducks were certainly not in a row yeah. <laughs> it's, very, it's very like if somebody ducks. decided to make like a bill and ted choose your own adventure game nowadays like <laughs> Dude, I'd, I'd play it i'd play, right? I'd play 60 bucks for it oh 100 a, well it'd be, it'd be it'd be it'd be more recent because bill and ted well, just came out with a third movie they mm-hmm. did yeah true I, I forget about it constantly. I know, right? I keep meaning to watch it, but I still have, I've never watched it. Uh, yeah, there was like, it was you know, there was nothing at uh, besides like Breath of the Wild, uh, Breath of the Wild two. I was like, say it, the Nintendo yeah. stuff, yeah. that and the Metroid yeah. were kind of the only things that remotely. Did Although I find it come. hilarious that they announced Metroid Five and Metroid Four still isn't finished. It's not even out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And it, everybody oh. was expecting Switch Pro, and and these were the breadcrumbs we got. So, right. and then, uh, people were really excited about Outer Worlds two. You know, I've never played Outer Worlds, uh, the first one, but I heard that one's really fun. Mm. Yeah, um, colorful. Color Our roommates are playing of, it. Yeah, there's a lot of buzz around. Uh, I forget the name of the game, but it was a Bethesda game that they're releasing. That uh, it's essentially just Skyrim in space. Yeah. Space Rip. I like it. Is it's Space Rip. Is, is it that one or the Avatar one that's Xbox only and everybody's flipping out? Uh, oh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I, can't I don't remember know what you're either. talking about, but yeah, I can't remember. The one that the one the one I think it that, might be that one. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. I can't remember. But uh, one thing that turned my head, I was like, Oh, it's Starfield. Yeah, yeah, Starfield. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Like they're not doing a PS5 port yet, and it's like. Why? Uh, yeah. well, I still play on PC like a weirdo. So, oh, Adam, so wait, didn't, play on PC. wait, didn't Xbox buy Bethesda? I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah. Okay, that would make no. sense because they have like because they have like the full they collection. Like money, of, don't they? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they like money in a big lump sum. <laughs> uh, We'd like a billion dollars now. Thank you very much. Right. Um, actually, one game that made me turn my head, and it wasn't a good turn, but it wasn't a bad turn either, huh, because there uh, were things I liked, and there was things I was like. Can you demonstrate both? Uh, what now? Are we? Turn, are are we? Is this an H and M game? And the, the game. <laughs> That I'm <laughs> just, just want to see what a good turn of the head versus a bad one looks like for you. That's all. <laughs> um, well, I think this is the good turn, and this is the bad turn. Good turn. That's yeah. fair. Okay. <laughs> um, it's fucking stranger in par- stranger, stranger of- in paradise. Stranger- I was going to bring it up, but yeah. why? Why would you? Uh, I uh, I'm confused. It's just it's like a <laughs> shitty Punisher game. It's like you're just going around. I think the only voice acting they did was "We're here to kill chaos," and then like wrapped <laughs> it up. Yeah, I saw a clip. Uh, there was this YouTuber. His name's Video Game Donkey, and he was oh, talking yeah. about it. And he just cut together all the clips. Like, We're here to kill chaos. Yeah, it looks garbage. We're, we're finding chaos. chaos. Yeah. It's like the guy says, I am chaos. We're here to destroy chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised no one was like in the background. Wait, who we who we going after again? Yeah, who's yeah, chaos? Right. Excuse me? Chaos. Sir, this is a McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to find chaos. Why are you in Sonic's home? <laughs> <laughs> it looks it looks not good. I will I, say that. But I mean just like do, like the the it, it literally looked like I was I I, I was in a H and M commercial. Like yeah. you, it, like Final Fantasy fifteen was kinda like super uber fashiony but this was kind of like not it, but it, it just the fashion was kind of just eh. terrible yeah it, 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 it took bad. away all the shine they were the, and the characters were very bland looking you know it's, mm-hmm. they they did they didn't really like have a that's been a know. trend though oh no i'm holding out hope because square eating stuffs love their showmanship so maybe this is just something unpolished that they're just showing well, it's Team Ninja that did it, right? Uh, and wasn't Team Ninja the first? What, weren't they supposed? Weren't they first tapped to do the Final Fantasy VII remake? Am I right in that? 
And then they pulled back and said, hey, you don't worry. We'll take over from here. We'll actually do this the way we want to do it. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to do this well. Yeah. When we said Real you question. could do it, we didn't specify, and that's on us. But we're going to take it back, and we're going to do it well. Is it just me, or does the main character sword in every subsequent uh, Final Fantasy just keep getting abnormally yeah. larger? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, at what point do they just tip backwards? <laughs> like, <laughs> that'd be funny. But Cloud at the start of every Popeye battle, arms, like you your know? protagonist just falls. Right. <laughs> it's, it's all about. about it. yeah, we need to see that Final Fantasy where they unsheathe it and just like fall forward. Yeah. Like, just give me one second. Hold on, I can lift it. Just, yeah, that's a Justin, lot than is I that why you bought that weighted vest to like do your runs and stuff? Yeah. So that someday you can hold like a sword that is as tall as you. I want a Buster right. sword. <laughs> there's actually there's well, beyond a, the Buster sword. The Buster sword was large, but it, I don't know, is halfway believable. Like now, it, it, it's just like they're yeah. just carrying sheets of rebar. It's be like it's like Aerith carrying Barrett on a stick. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, like a truck. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. No, there is a there is a guy uh, in Scotland. I think he's um, he's a metal worker, and he he just makes fantasy weapon. He's, his YouTube channel is Michael Cthulhu. That's, that's Scotland's main export. Actually, yeah, is yeah. fantasy <laughs> weapons just Fan weird <laughs> people? And he he does the whole process. He'll he'll show you everything from start to finish. And he he made a Buster sword. He made um, Aaron's sword. He's made a, just a ton of stuff. It's really cool. If you're into that, I would suggest checking it out. I do wonder, like, if the, if there was ever possible to make a broadsword so big, but if in order to make it wieldable, like you'd have to, I don't know, you'd have to be a mixture of several different things. Uh, it I couldn't be all metal. You have to find the lightest metal. That you this can thing, buy. this sword yeah, right here, this sword is, I think, the sword I have right here is 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 all metal. It's all freaking iron or whatever it is, and it's only four feet, and I can barely hold that thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm no wondering, like. <laughs> <laughs> it is right? a barely wieldable sword. <laughs> All that uh, drumming, the, the, you still haven't built up the strength. Does <laughs> the existence of the term unwieldy uh, imply the existence uh, that we should be using wieldy right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's totally wieldy. It's totally My wieldy. mouse, ah. super wieldy right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're wielding pen, well. yeah. super Very, wieldy. Extremely wieldy. Very wieldy phone here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's like people are always overwhelmed, but no one's just been whelmed. Whelmed. Yeah. Be over people are over or under, but he's like, yeah, this is like, quite, quite yeah, the whelming moment we have here. I feel, I feel whelmed. <laughs> whelmed and wieldy. Yes. That's <laughs> whelmed and wieldy. That's like a Mumford and Sons album. I feel right? Like. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, hey, we're, we're whelmed and wieldy. Whelmed and wieldy. <laughs> hey. We're from a port, we're from Portland, Oregon. We're whelmed and wieldy. There's a lot of banjo. You know they do. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but mm -hmm. Final Fantasy, I was hoping that they would have some new information on Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, they haven't. Yeah, no, that's, they haven't done I'm, anything. Not a, like, not when the surprised. trailer was announced, I was so happy and so hyped for it, and like, then nothing, and still nothing, and I'm just kind of right. like, I'm seeing 15 flashbacks. <laughs> Although there right. was there was a game that was announced, I don't even know if it was part of E3 or not, but it's from software. And they're the ones that do like all the Souls games and. Wait, uh, games. Are you talking about uh, Elden Ring? Elden Ring. They announced it forever yeah. ago, and no information they, uh, to the to the point where they covered it on E3. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It comes out twenty twenty two. I think really? January, January twenty twenty two, and that looks really cool with George R. R. Martin. They worked with him. I think. That's oh, good. Cool. So, like, does Instead the game just not have book? a last yeah. chapter or something? Or? <laughs> yeah. It's a game that goes on forever. The ending is coming. Nudity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then Full. HBO will make a <laughs> make a show about a series it. About yeah. it. And then cool. ruin the Love ending. Yeah. Then a, yeah, ruin totally ruin the ending. <laughs> yeah, other than right. other than that, other than that, I couldn't I can't think of anything else that I was just kinda like and I, of course there was a bunch of like first person shooters. I'm like next. Next. Yeah. <laughs> next. Um, I mean, I, no offense to has been <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, the, just, I have a broad interest, but nothing yeah. particular has really like caught my eye, except like with the exception of like a very few things. Like I'm very interested in the, the fact that they're coming out with the second Psychonauts. Yeah, I mean, and then, uh, that's yeah. that's something that's like it was never a game that I was heavily invested in in my childhood, but like as I grew up more, I appreciated it a bit more and more. 
And I'll sing the second game. I like the artwork in those. Yeah. It's a nice, like, mixture of, like, that fantasy, whimsical style that a lot of the games back in that time really had. Oh, the, what is uh, this other game that I saw, actually? I don't know if it was actually a pre- presented on E3 or not, but I saw it during the same time I was watching all the other trailers. Um, it's this, uh, this, this side-scroller... Um, it's supposed to be like it's like really oh, retro uh, replacement. Um, replacement, or, uh, yes. Uh, yes, that game looks sick. I it, think it, just, yeah. it makes me like looking at that game. It makes me think of like a a two D side scroller like Blade Runner video game. Yeah, oh. it, it had a bunch of like really cool synth retro wave going on. I was like, yeah. this, oh yeah, this game is sick. Oh yeah, that <laughs> that was definitely on my radar a bit. I think yeah. the best thing that was announced during E3 was that uh, Xbox mini fridge. <laughs> that was <laughs> mm. that's about the yeah. That's the only thing I noticed. Well, yeah, Far Cry, Far our Cry Six generation got the Marshall <laughs> Amp fridge, so yeah. it's only fitting that we get an Xbox mini yeah. fridge. That's, yeah, that's get, the millennial. Yeah. Uh, well, on top of that, we, we still have the KFC console. Oh, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> they really are making a console. Hey, yeah, now I wait, 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 educate me. How did I miss this? Right? Oh yeah, the KFC uh, console. It's a chicken. yeah, KFC console. It's a video game console that you can use to warm your chicken. No, <laughs> it's, it's a Dreamcast. It's, <laughs> it's it's literally a video game bucket. It's beautiful. Tell me they at least like licensed Just, the game Burger Time. And, guys, like, this <laughs> looks like a Mac Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait I'm assuming actually- Shane's going to put an image into his feed now. Uh, Wait, yeah, you, yeah. you're sending me something? Where are you sending me? What are you sending no, me? No, I just know you always splice them in later, so I just said Oh, you. oh, okay, yeah. you going to edit it in there? I'll edit it in later. <laughs> yeah, but give me more work it's to like do. now presenting. <laughs> oh. uh, but anybody- only have it cover my screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's like a PC. It looks like an air fryer. <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't we done this yet? So but, beautiful. Now you is. have the convenience of warming your chicken while playing Madden and getting upset. <laughs> you can rage and then anger eat. It's beautiful. Right? Yeah, man, this is... Dude, it, it, it supports 4K. Right? 240 right, FPS? Uh, hi, man. I don't know that I want... To uh, experience anything, th- KFC th- has to offer for chicken. In definition. I'll be honest. <laughs> right? They don't. I mean, is there? Oh, it's still the curiosity is definitely there. <laughs> uh, they're Did also they? adding a Tekken character in Smash Brothers. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Which one? Because they're adding Kazuya. Kazuya. So weird. That Banjo makes it Kazuya. <laughs> Banjo Kazuya. Yeah. Is that <laughs> so? That's like what three hundred characters in Smash Brothers now? Three hundred and ten, something like a that. A lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised it's, they didn't go with like Yoshimitsu there. or someone. Yeah. Oh, cool. and uh, dude, uh, Ju- Justin nailed na- Justin nailed it on my last live stream when I was doing the Super Mario RPG uh, live stream. Uh, dude, freaking Gino and Mallow. Gino man. and Mallow, man. Such a shame. I've been asking. I mean, it, it's right there. I thought it was so strange that they added Matthew McConaughey before either of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably play him. I'd, I'd play him. Oh, wow. and, he, and, he, and he comes in on a Lincoln. Especially if it was True Detective era. Like, it just, yeah. <laughs> <unbeatable. It's, laughs> yeah. Yeah, his Ford well, Smash is just, just wow. 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 Oh, that'd be <laughs> Owen Wilson. That'd be Owen Wilson. Wow. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. They're the same person. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> can, One can goes you ima- wow, like, and the other goes. I could right, actually right, see right. like all if right. they put Nicolas Cage in the game. Like that would actually make sense in some weird way. <laughs> that should be Matthew McConaughey's final smash. Is that in <laughs> that picture of Nicolas Cage just looking insane? Just flies onto the screen and wrecks. Yeah, and I think that's why it works, yeah. is because he's sort of more of a cartoon character than right. Know, just the plane from Con Air just, jumps down. They're all just Matthew McConaughey in different dialects. It's beautiful. Like he, I, I just <laughs> see him just sort of like Perfect. you pick up the star and he just starts bashing people at the Declaration of Independence. Like yeah, it, it makes sense. It. I don't know. So How about this? It's still the Mona Lisa. Ah. <laughs> It'd be Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey playing Nicolas Cage. Yeah, I, I don't know. If we're going part. to a crossover, I feel like maybe the final smash he he pulls it off, and he's actually, uh, oh man, uh, John Travolta. John Travolta. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're tracking with me. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I want to pull his face off. Off. 
<laughs> do you think remember John, oh. that's, that's how they knew each other do you think john travolta's ever taken a selfie of himself and posted it on halloween saying he's dressed up like nicholas cage <laughs> if he has it i'd be so disappointed yeah i, I feel like you should that's a, yes. that's a golden opportunity it's like oh what are you doing this year for halloween i'm nicholas cage but you look exactly like yourself oh, i know man. uncanny right yes. <laughs> if, if you could add any any entity any any being uh, living or, or fictional into Smash Brothers? Either Abraham oh. Lincoln or Andy Kaufman. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You've thought oh, about this. Wow. Oh, oh, man. Kaufman's I have a, a good idea. <laughs> Go That's on. a really put good point. Put the Honda Accord from uh, Street Fighter in there. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it, it, I can yeah. hear the sound effects in my head when you said that. Yeah, I can hear that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did that the other day. I was just beat up on a car. <laughs> it just automatically explodes in 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the big That's the amazing. title is it's payback time. <laughs> Je Jesse, you're a fighting game guy. Hey, who, yeah. who do you need? Who do you want? And I don't know. What I feel like they it would used. <laughs> I feel like it would have to be some like way off the wall, like like Celine Dion. Which is <laughs> Man, these are great Michael picks. Jackson these Moonwalker are great in picks. there. That's <clears throat> yeah. We need Michael just, Jackson Moonwalker in Oh damn it. Quinn yeah. just took mine. Yeah. Or Bubbles the Monkey, yes. <laughs> From Michael Jackson Although, Moonwalker. If Celine yeah. Dion's Canadian, so would she just walk around the entire thing just apologizing to everybody? <laughs> no, right. she throws shoes. It's <laughs> obvious. <And, laughs> she throws shoes and maple syrup. Yep, yeah, and, All right. and and hearts that just go on. Like they, just, right. just give her the Jigglypuff ability when she sings. They will go on. Sleep. They will go on. Since uh, since Quentin took mine, which is Michael Jackson, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say. Well, wait, which era? White or white or black? <laughs> <laughs> uh, alternate costumes. There you go. Exactly. It's alternate. <laughs> Unlockable skins, right? There. Yeah. <laughs> have him, and then you have and, him. Oh, Michael man, Jackson, we're getting, oh, that's getting ew, too much overlap. Oh, boy, dial it back. <laughs> no. Just dancing on the Statue of Liberty. It's the sm <laughs> final smash. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it All right, Shane. So what? It don't what, matter what if you're black or white. Well, it was, uh, <laughs> it's going to be uh, Joe Pesci. Ooh. Does he get, like, an ice pick? Just stab you. <laughs> Stab you in the eye with an eye. <laughs> yeah, and alternate, you know, <laughs> alternate costume changes will only be like one or two because he's been a mobster the whole time. So yeah. Well, right. I mean, are you talking about wet bandits, Joe Pesci, or like Ooh, what are we what are we I going about? We're getting alone. awfully close to mine. That's so <laughs> we're it's getting weird, guys. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. Kevin McAllister. Oh, Kevin McAllister. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he'd just set traps. He'd be like, uh, "I was gonna say, yeah, yeah that's that's his whole gimmick because he shows up to the arena an hour before everybody and, <laughs> and just sets up paint, like <laughs> gallons of paint on string." So it's, it's so like Batman's story, but a little bit more whimsical. <laughs> it's just the uh, it's just the what's Animal Planet character, right? Oh, who's the yes. character? Uh, you know, that sets out the uh, fire hydrant. Oh, yeah. Animal, oh, uh, or, uh, animal Crossing. You said Animal Planet. I said Planet. Animal. Like, <laughs> David Attenborough? <laughs> <laughs> now he'd be great, too. Yeah. Steve Irwin? Are you kidding? He just Steve throws Irwin? crocodiles yeah. at you and stuff? Oh, uh, that'd be beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> right? Just imagine hopping on smashing in your ass beat by crocodile nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> but then he fights Paul Hogan, so you got Crocodile Dundee versus, you know, Crocodile Hunter. Hunter. You know, yeah. Man, might as well just throw the Ninja Turtles in there to get revenge for their reptilian friends. Yeah. See, that'd be great too. I'd love to see the Ninja Turtles on there. Yeah, uh, pretty, uh, a, a the White Ranger. Oh <laughs> yeah, Power Rangers. Yeah. Mm. No, the Green Ranger. Okay, or Green Ranger alternate costume. I see you. Right, loot dagger. <laughs> His hollow knife that he has. For I don't some know. Well, I'll be honest. I'm a little surprised that they haven't drawn. Uh, I mean, do they still have rights to Goldeneye? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Otherwise, we we should be getting we should have gotten a remake by now. Sure. Like, the, the remake was for Xbox. There was because there was a remake. There was, and it was underwhelming. Yeah. Um, I know there was like a, a Half Life mod that was actually really fun. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, didn't they He'd finally make half? Too. Didn't they finally make Half Life Three? It's actually a virtual reality game now. Oh yeah, Alex. Alex. Yeah. Technically, What's the guy's in, name in the, the character's name, Do Gordon something. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Freeman. 
Freeman. Gordon Freeman. I'm, 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 I couldn't get Gordon, Gordon Lightfoot Ramsey. out of my head. I was like, I know Gordon <laughs> Lightfoot's not <laughs> right. Shouts Gordon yeah. Lightfoot. Yeah. Oh. Just shoot yeah. somebody, you fucking donut. <laughs> <laughs> Just put Dave Ramsey in Smash Brothers. My mom claims she yeah, once kissed so Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. How was it? We'll do One this to later. Ten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Girl Talk with Shane Wise. <laughs> yeah, right. Welcome to welcome to Coffee Talk. Coffee, All right, I'll coffee. Give you a topic. <laughs> okay. We get the coffee. Uh, let's. Okay, are you guys ready for trivia? Are you guys ready for? Are, are, are you guys are sufficiently? We there? Are we All right, I'm gonna Are you guys sufficiently more. ready? Get your get your drinks in now. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Because there's a lot of questions. I think Dane is being <laughs> yeah. invaded by a duck of some sort. <laughs> I've been watching right. a lot of Did You Know Gaming, so here we go. Oh, oh shit, oh. really? Oh, oh Jesse, we'll get this. Jeez, we had to invite you on this one. So we don't All have right. to like buzz in, right? You're, you're, it's just, no, what I'll do, answer. what I'll do is we'll just like go one at a time, and if like you agree, like it, or if you disagree, then I'll okay. show I've the got answer. Got my buzzer. Okay. That is not a buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to get old either. It <laughs> certainly hasn't yet. It sounds like Linda from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> 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 All right, are we are we ready? This is the history also of video a great games. Character for Smash. <laughs> also, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> All right, are we, are we ready? This is the history of video games. Oh yes. man, here we are. Ready? What was the first commercially successful video game? Uh, well, Dane, are we going? Go, <clears throat> sorry, Dane. What do you I'm, think? I'm going with Pong. Okay. Yeah, that's my answer too. Any rebuttals? I don't know if it was commercially successful, but it's it was certainly like the first very like ubiquitous video game. Like it was a whole thing, right? So I gotta say Pong. Okay. Q. Yeah. That All right. Sense. Oh, it was oh. E.T., wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, man. That is correct. <laughs> All right. So E.T. was correct? Followed by Was Your Suit Larry, the prequel. Uh, right. Oh All right. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one, actually. This is, a, this is, what is the best, currently, what is the best-selling video game of all time? Uh, Jesse, would you like to answer? That, I don't know. Oh, I mean, no, that's free. Technic. Are you counting in like microtransactions kind of game or gross or just literally best selling? Well, pro probably not like mobile games, I don't okay. think. Um, yeah. Once I say it, you you guys are going to go, oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Anybody best venture a guess? Selling. I'm going to go off, uh, off the rails with this one and say The Sims. Okay. We got The Sims. That's very yeah. smart. I'd probably go with uh, like something in the Zelda franchise because that's huge, like Legend of Zelda. I know that Final Fantasy XIV just took over WoW's spot as the most played MMORPG on the planet. Oh, oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. But how many divorces has it caused? That's really what we gauge that by, right? Nobody, nobody that can attract a mate plays Final Fantasy XIV. By the way, I just started playing Final Fantasy XIV, right? so don't take offense. I'm married. That's, that's, that's why. That's why there are cats around. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm single. All right, right. Yeah, that's why you can only. It's why you can only create a female character in the bunny the bunny race. I, I honestly, game. honestly, think just because I know people who don't really play video games play this game, I'd say Call of Duty. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right, Call of Duty. Q, what do you think? You got an answer? I, I was. I was thinking between like oh. Call of Duty oh. and Mario. No, because story it, player oh. It just hit but me. But I'm thinking. I'm not going to change my answer. Don't but I think you the, can't. I think the I one know. name. Oh my god! It just hit me. The one name I constantly hear between all of my gamer friends is Halo. So I. I forgot about I, that game. I want to say it before that. you say yeah. it, Shane. Just, yeah. just, just prove that I'm not lying. Okay. It's Tetris, isn't it? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. That was it's less not. bad. Yeah. So uh, he, uh, the the best uh, selling video game of all time is Minecraft. 
my I barely consider uh, that a video game, so I didn't. Right, exactly. But it's like, okay, that makes sense. Because yeah. Yeah, people who don't okay. even play video games play that game. Yeah, everyone yeah. three and up plays that game. Yeah. All right, next question. My- what year was the Super Nintendo Entertainment System SNES released? I'm going to say... I think it was 1992. 92 is <laughs> where I was at. That's funny. I know Final Fantasy VI was 93, and that yeah. was for... 92 and I know, is where I'm at on that. And I know okay. Mortal Kombat 1 came out in 93 as well. So I All think right, that's why so it came out. Jesse's 92, Justin's 92, Dane 92, Q? Yeah. Well, I'm going with the group consensus of 92. So no it idea. was actually 1991. Uh, uh, exactly what I, I know, said the first time, 91. Ooh, I should have said 91 because Final Fantasy IV came out for SNES as well. Yeah. And... Uh, I was I was hoping uh, someone would, I was hoping someone would uh, pull a Price is Right yeah, and duck and go, under. Yeah. I'll go number one. <laughs> yeah. I almost did, but I was like, you know, four four out of the whole group. See what happens when you go with the group Q. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> pressure. Don't do it, kids. Don't do it. Particularly this group. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Nothing, All it's right. nothing but terrible leash shoot if, Larry if, puns. If you guys get this, this will be pretty this will be pretty impressive if you actually know this this answer. I'll tear my shirt off. What year was the Nintendo well I'm sorry, what year was Nintendo the company founded? Oh, that's in the eighteen hundreds. They were yeah. they made uh, yeah, they, like they were cards. playing cards and such. Yeah. yeah. Um but what was the year? 1886. All right, 86. That's clearly not it. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you an idiot. That's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a, a guess. I'm okay. trying to remember yeah. like a hundredth anniversary or something in my yeah. lifetime. I don't remember. I think I'm sure. Was, I think it may have been <laughs> earlier than that. Now we get the prices right. I'm going to lock in. 1843. <laughs> Where are they like? 1843. $1, Shane. <laughs> it was Man, released uh, in the year one. Maybe like, oh. I'm just going to say 1803. 1803, 1843. I'm going to be patriotic and say 1876. 1876. <laughs> so 76, 86, 03, and 43. It was actually 1889. Oh! Oh, you got the closest. Oh. Yeah, went over. over too. That's why I was smiling because, like, ah, he was three years off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we were we were in the ballpark. We were in the though. ballpark, yeah. though. I was. I, I'm impressed that you guys know. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. the, the was it called Nintendo still back then? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, yeah they are. They didn't like like uh, Dan said, like trading cards, and uh, I think they made like they made the uh, those those gun games that uh, I forget what it was called. Um. Big but buck time prices that you that you see. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't know. I can't remember. All Deer right. Hunter sixty four. <laughs> back in the big buck hunter eighteen sixty four. Yeah, in eighteen sixty four they made Deer Hunter sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Blizzard Entertainment is most well known for what video game franchise? All right, that's actually a terrible. I'm going to skip that one. That's yeah, an that's, awful, that's a terrible uh, question. Overwatch, right, Tetris, you. right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Overwatch. <laughs> All right, this is this was a fun one. Uh, which video game? 1874. <laughs> 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 which <laughs> which video game company collaborated with Sony on the PlayStation? Oh, Jesse. Oh, I knew that. I know this. Someone else go. I can't remember. Hang on. Collaborate with a Sony on the PlayStation. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I want to say something, but I don't think it's right. Give me. I need a second. Was it Philips Magnavox? <laughs> we got Philips. No, the man. They, they had the CDI. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I mean, if they collaborated with PlayStation to make you know, uh, the disc technology. Yeah. Anybody? Man, was I don't it, know. Was it rare? Oh, so we got rare. We got Philips. Rare did all the all the a ton of Nintendo Nintendo like, games. games. They did in that, but, in that era. But, but for some reason, which my company helped? There. Which company did they collaborate in order to make 
the PlayStation. This was the, for like, the actual console, the first PlayStation console. I'm going to hate myself when you say it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> this Sony <laughs> collaborated. It's sort of a blanket <laughs> statement. I hate myself like, anyway, so it's sort of like, well, duh, yeah. <laughs> so Sony collaborated I mean, with a game company. They to did, make a and I, yeah, they totally did. Would it be fair to, would Sony be acceptable? Because, I mean, they would have had to work together. Sony and Sony? <laughs> <laughs> they had to work with themselves. Yeah, Sony collaborated with, with the, PlayStation. With the forgotten third Sony member, Sony. which makes Sony, Sony, Sony. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. No. No. Sony, Sony, Sony. Vetoed. That's, uh, <laughs> Sony, Sony. Yeah, yeah, we all get some hits. We had some hits. <laughs> we all get three vetoes. Yeah, everyone take four psychic damage. <laughs> One for each Sony. <laughs> I'm tracking. <laughs> Don't All right, you guys. Are you guys man. ready for the answer? Are you guys gonna ready ready to hit yourselves? Yeah. Uh, oh. Nintendo was the company that collaborated with Sony first to make the PlayStation. Yeah, and they actually made what? a hybrid Sony weird thing, and they only made like a couple or something like that. And one recently sold for like thousands upon thousands of dollars. It, it was Nintendo a Nintendo Game Station. I remember that. Yeah, the Game Station. That's what it was. I think that's you're yeah. absolutely right. But yeah, is it really? I think something like that. Just straight up talking out of my ass on it. It sounded, it sounded, that sounded familiar. Game Station. Um, the Sontendi Game Station. Okay. Why does that sound so, like a Disney fake like video game <laughs> console that they put in there? Wow. Right. Like the Game Sphere on South Park. <laughs> <laughs> the Game Sphere. The oh come on, Game Sphere. <laughs> yeah. Oh come on, Game Sphere. Yeah. I remember that. Oh god. Yeah. All right. The United States Air Force used what gaming console to create a cluster supercomputer? I I've never heard that, so I don't know. Cluster yeah, I never heard of that Xbox. either. Say it, say it one more time. <clears throat> the United States Air Force used what gaming console to create a cluster supercomputer? I'm going to guess the Xbox. Q's got the Xbox. Good a guess as any, I guess. And yeah. they they made a cluster supercomputer all of them out of all of them just to run the Microsoft Flight Simulator for their pilots. Oh, so you actually know that? Oh, okay. No, again. <laughs> but you don't know what the actual I'm total a total moron about this. Yeah. No, they actually do X-wing versus Tie Fighter for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> All that Logitech stuff that came out last month. There's no one read the news here, <laughs> right? <laughs> Nothing to see here. <clears throat> because it has the best port of Marvel Two, I'm gonna say Dreamcast. Dreamcast for Jesse. Yep. Dane, venture a guess. Our government is not known for doing things well. <laughs> so the Game Gear. <laughs> the Game Gear. Com Com they just glued a bunch of Commodore 64s together. <laughs> Circling back to that Philips CDI, baby. Probably Laserdisc or something. CDI. It's, honestly, CDI, final it's, answer. Depending, depending on what it is, it's probably like the Atari. <laughs> probably the Game Boy. <laughs> it was actually okay. the PlayStation 3. Really? Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Kind of crazy, okay. right? You could make a cluster supercomputer out of PlayStation 3. Yeah, well, because remember they did like that weird cell technology, uh, yeah. whatever. And they stopped support for it, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter. It was, then the military yeah. went down. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we lost the war. That's, that's why <laughs> we weren't at war, but we lost it anyway. That's why, the PS, that's why the PS4 sounds like a jet engine when you play <laughs> Final Fantasy Remake. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> now it makes so much sense why so many game shows are just getting gamers to do like obstacle courses. Like we got to train them for war, right? <laughs> they're, all, they're already familiar with the system. We just got to get them familiar with the actions right. and just put it together. So at, the, at the end of the course, there's not a prize. There's a recruiter. Right. So, <laughs> just so, everyone, so everyone's caught up on the score. You all have just one. You're oh, okay. <laughs> I'm amazed at that. Yeah. Um, you're one out right of now. one out of nine guys. Um, uh, a very gentlemanly sport we're having here. <laughs> yes, that's right. I feel like uh, we should get something for being the closest. <laughs> <laughs> what food what food was the character Pac-Man modeled after? A tangela. A fortune Dane says, cookie. What'd you say? I said a fortune cookie. Okay, Jesse said fortune cookie. Yeah, fortune cookie makes a lot of sense. Dane, what did you say? Pizza. Okay. All right, fortune cookie, fortune cookie, pizza. Q, 
barbecue? Uh, pizza or fortune cookie or something different? Uh, the <laughs> We've orange. been down this road no, before. Those are the only two papaya. foods that exist. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say, Q? Did you say anything? I'm, go I'm going with the orange or melon. Um, melon or orange, okay. <laughs> <laughs> something something citrusy. What, like a honeydew or like a full on uh like, I'm thinking cantaloupe maybe, but <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm trying They're more rounded. <laughs> kiwi. Waka, 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 waka. A kiwi uh no, uh actually Dane is correct. It is actually a pie of pizza. Oh. The creator the creator uh, he, uh Toru Iwatani was eating pizza when he came up with the idea. Puck man. I have great ideas when I eat pizza. Yeah, yeah Puck man. Oh, puck. Puck. The only idea when I, ha I have when I'm eating pizza is to eat more pizza. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how this guy pulled off Pac Man, but props to him. Could you imagine just Maybe like, just a little like dots are. More All right. Just... Maybe they're not cocaine like we all thought. <laughs> it's <laughs> Parmesan cheese. Up, makes sense now. It's, it it's one piece of pizza and immediately it's... thinks of a maze with little, ghosts little and balls fruit. of fresh <laughs> mozzarella. Yeah. <laughs> What fruit goes on pizza? I don't think the mushrooms, mushrooms on that no. pizza were particularly oh. fresh. Oh, Only dude, you cherries. went there. Yeah. I was just going to go there, Justin. There was, a, there was a bunch of mushrooms on that pizza. Um, yeah. In the original arcade version of Donkey Kong, what was the name of the character that would later be known as Mario?